You, idiot. She almost got away because you pay more attention to what's below your belt than above. I'm sorry, boss. Just shut up. Get your coat. So we can do what we came to do. Please, you don't have to kill me. I promise I won't tell anyone, I swear. I'm sorry, Miss Crane. I don't trust you. And it is your misfortune that you're the only person who can implicate us in Jean-Luc's murder. For that, you must die. And it is time. Please, you're making a big mistake. I told you my family's very rich. If you call them and tell them that you're holding me hostage, they'll pay a king's ransom for my life. I'll make sure that no one goes to the police. Look, we've been through this already. And happy as I am that we cannot profit from your family's wealth. You're too big a liability. We have no choice but to eliminate you as a threat. Could be worse, mademoiselle. It is not as if you are leaving any loved ones behind. You have no children, no husband, not even a lover. And since you seem to pick men like Jean-Luc, perhaps we are doing you a favor. Never again will any man use you for your money. What a world we live in, when such a beautiful woman can only find love because she's rich. This is it. Not everyone gets such a good view of a final resting place. Could be worse, no? Please don't. Do not beg for mercy when I cannot spare you. The best I can do is assure you that we'll make this as quick and painless as possible. Yeah, you think you can handle this? Of course. Kneel down. Afterwards, we'll fill the grave and leave. No one will ever find her body. It is futile, Miss Sheridan Crane. You had your fun with us, but it's over. You cannot hide forever. So why not come out? And we can get this over with. She must have gone that way. Did you hear that? We came from over there. 